The Ministry of Education and Sports is reviewing its sector performance for 1st July 2020 to 30th June 2021 and set priorities for 2022-23. In the period under review, through the school facility grant, it boasts of having constructed 342 new classrooms, 44 teachers' houses, and lined up 1,411 VIP latrine stands in 174 local governments. With the challenge of COVID-19, the ministry under the emergency response plan availed a conditional grant of 12,472 public primary schools to support the implementation of SOPs. COVID emergency education response plan were also able to support 1,284 secondary schools with, with funds to support implementation of the SOPs to the tune of 1, 1.5 million each. And this was mostly to support um, small hand wash facilities and sanitizers and so forth. Under access and quality, the ministry printed and distributed over 2.6 copies of home study materials for P5 to P7 learners in 28,931 private and public primary schools. School health and HIV AIDS in education were also able to train a total of 945 teachers from 13 districts on school health, child marriage, gender-based violence, sexual reproductive health and rights, and formation of school health clubs. The Minister of State for Higher Education, John Chrysostom Moyingo, delivering the Minister for Education message, said schools are to reopen on January 10th, 2022, and the Ministry is carrying out inspection. I mean, that, this should, that we need in the schools when we reopen is that environment that is conducive to learning, that is attracting the child to continue wanting to go to school. But this will require, that this necessitates even revamping and re reconstructing some of the structures. Government is providing some money that will enable schools, public schools, to facelift, to, 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 to put on a new face, a good looking. The Coordinator Education Development Partners said, stakeholders need to be flexible in adapting approaches to deliver education, emphasizing prioritizing safe reopening of schools. We must ensure that schools are able to provide a safe environment for our children. Pre prevention measures, surveillance and effective case management must now become the staples of the syllabus alongside tradi traditional subjects. Support will be needed by all actors at all levels to effectively implement COVID SOPs and resources must be mobilized. In Meanwhile, Muyengo has launched an electronic learning platform that will avail learning material for English and mathematics subjects as pilot for continuity of learning even as schools reopen. I'm Navka Farida and Stephen Kalisia at Kololo.